one day I did it one night I did it and my skin was burning so so bad my skin was burning so bad like it to the point where I wanted to cry my skin was burning so bad I'm like you know what after that burning experience I'm like I'm done with African black soap like I'm not washing my face with this shit no more girl you bad and you nasty 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 girl you know you both know you nasty love it when you talk to me nasty do that little walk when you pass me only time you calls when you ask me girl you bad and you nasty Hey guys it's me Siani Marie and I'm back with another video and today I'm gonna be telling y'all how my skin just got ruined and like it was just the worst experience ever this sh literally burned my face stay tuned if you want to know what this product is I'm pretty sure you already know about the title but just stay tuned okay so in today's video we're going to be talking about skin you guys um skin is like very important to me i think skin is very important to a lot of um women you know who doesn't want clear skin who doesn't want that glowy clear skin where you don't have to wear no makeup all you gotta do is get your lashes done and your eyebrows like that was my goal like all i wanted to really do was just have to just put on my eyebrows you know fill them in and put on some lashes just like i am doing today so yeah like skin is just everything to me um i've always wanted to clear, clear skin but i always kind of like struggle with like having like 100 percent clear skin like that smooth glowy no discoloration no dark marks or nothing skin i'm like kind of always struggle with that so just a little backstory so it this will all make sense <clears throat> so in the summertime um my skin was kind of acting up and it was because i wasn't washing it as consistently as i should have been and i wasn't changing my pillowcases as so consistent as i should have been um i do have sensitive skin it's not that sensitive but it's sensitive like it's sensitive to the point where if i don't wash my pillowcases twice a week my skin is going to break out um so yeah that's just some backstory about my skin and um the reason why my skin got like bad really like really bad to the point where it's it stayed like that for a whole year um okay so let's backtrack so last i think it was last year or was it two years ago no it was like almost it's almost two it's almost been two years but um last year when i was in college i was taking this supplement called maca I was taking this supplement called Makaru. Um, Makaru has a lot of benef health benefits for women. It makes you very fertile. Um, it speeds, no, it slows down your metabolism, I believe. Um, it's just good for you. Um, but basically, it makes you fertile. That's not why I took this. I wanted to take this so I can gain some weight about last, like a year ago. And I actually like the way this smells. It smells like, um,. I don't know it smells like kind of like dirt but like a good dirt anyways um i took this a while ago because i wanted to gain some weight now after taking this supplement this is a natural this is a natural herb this is a, um maca maca root is a i think it's a plant you can look up the benefits of maca root i'm gonna leave down below what maca root is because i don't know exactly what it is um i did do my research before taking it but it's been so long since i've taken this supplement like right here i have so many capsules um i took it for two weeks and my skin broke out really really bad um and that was last year and it broke out real real bad and like because my skin was so clear in college like, but after taking this it messed my skin up so after that um ever since then I had dark spots um I would get pimples and stuff like that like you know on a regular no, more so often than I usually would before taking maca root so I stopped taking maca root um and I got on a regimen of washing my like a you know a skincare routine so I always will use clean and clear skincare um cleansing uh nighttime cleanser and the morning cleanser and then I would like use like different face washes i don't recommend using different brand face washes because that was that is what causes um dark spots make sure you stay in the same brand if something works for you just stick to it because me i just tried out different things 
Okay, fast forward. My skin is getting back, you know, kind of clear, kind of decent. Um, now, let's talk about this summer. So, this summer, my skin was okay. It wasn't where I wanted to be. I still had, like, dark spots. Um, I had discoloration. I had redness. And I just really, really wanted to get rid of it, basically. I really wanted to get rid of it. And it was so hard for me to just get rid of it. Um, so... Is this focus? I'm sorry with the light. This is hold on. Let me turn my ring away. Okay, sorry y'all. I had to plug my ring light up. Um, low key kind of lost track. Okay, but anyways, summertime came around. My skin wasn't completely how I wanted it to be. Y'all know summertime. You don't want your skin to be glowing. Y'all want y'all skin to be take pictures. You know, in a car with a nice sunlight and stuff like that. So I really wanted that, and I'm like, you know, I've tried a lot of things. I've tried a lot of products. And nothing was really working for me. So, um, I'm looking up, you know, things on YouTube about how to, you know, clear your skin naturally. Because I thought maybe, let me just go the natural route. So, one day, um, I was sitting up in my bank account. A little short story time, whatever, blah, blah, blah. Sitting up my bank account, and it was this lady um, who was helping me. And she was a black lady. And we were talking about skin and how I want to, you know, clear my skin and what products will work best for me and stuff like that and like i don't like you know we was just having a conversation of what i should use so i was telling her i'm like you know what i think i want to try go try the turmeric turmeric and yogurt mask and um i've tried the turmeric mask before but not with yogurt so i was like you know what let me just try the turmeric and yogurt mask like maybe that'll help my dark spots go away so she was like you know you should try that too but you should also look into trying african black soap and I was like, I'm kind of scared to try African black soap because I've seen so many things on Twitter about how it burns the skin and, um, you know, like bad reviews and stuff, like a couple bad reviews like that. But um, I did remember, I've seen, I, I do remember seeing a lot of bad reviews for the Shea Moisture African black soap that burns people's skin. So I'm like, maybe it's because they had like added on ingredients and chemicals within that particular soap because each brand black soap, I feel like each brand of black soap has like different ingredients and different chemicals in it, whatever. Um, so I'm like, maybe it's just a shea moisture. So I took it into consideration and she told me it was like, you know, it's a food store, um, not too far from here and they sell 100% natural African black soap. So I looked into it and um, I went to go purchase my African black soap. So, oh, it is like the lighting looks kind of crazy. Let me turn this down. Okay, so when I went to go purchase, I'm sorry, y'all. Like my window, is like so annoying. Um. Okay, so when I went to go purchase the African black soap, I seen it in a natural food store and here is the soap right here this soap was only two dollars and like 93 cents i remember the exact amount and it comes in this huge block right here um i didn't like take the whole block of soap out because african black soap 100 percent african black soap is like i'm sorry if this shadow fucking annoying okay so okay let me just sit this way y'all okay so 100% African black soap is very easy to peel off so I would just take a small little chunk like this um every day and wash my face so I'm like yay like yes got my African black soap and then I went ahead and got some tea tree oil which is seven uh seven dollars and 19 cents which i do recommend now the tea tree oil i do like i still use for my skin i know the tea tree oil was not a problem that caused my skin to look like um how it was looking it was not the tea tree oil because i still use the tea tree oil today to this day and um it really works for me okay so like i was saying I had to change my damn um position once again because the glare of my window um i'm still like kind of catacorn my window anyways okay so i'm like yes i'm like i got my african black soap you know i'm a youtuber so i'm like i had a video plan called um 
uh, tr uh, using African black soap for a week straight, right? I had a, the whole video plan, I, you know, the transformation. I had to, I was taking pictures every day. I took a video every single day of me washing my face. So, my routine for washing my face while doing this um, routine for for my channel not only for my channel but for me um, i want to show y'all you guys the journey so every day i would first wipe my face with alcohol um 99 alcohol whatever alcohol not not 99 but 91 percent alcohol right and then after doing that um i would then wash my face with african black soap after washing my face with the African black soap, I then wash my face with hydrogen peroxide. You can wash your face with hydrogen peroxide. Hydrogen peroxide is known to brighten and lighten the skin. Um, not bleach, not color ble bleaching your skin. Don't go there, don't do that. But it, you know, brightens it up. So that's what I would do. And then, right after I did all of that, I would put tea tree oil on my skin. After washing my face with African black soap. That sh burned so bad. Because it burned so bad, I used this specific lotion that is really water-based. It's called aloe vera lotion. I'm going to put a picture right here of it because um, I can't find the bottle, right? So, I did that because my skin burned so bad, okay? So, I would do this every day. I would do it in the morning time and at night. Not every day in the morning time and night. I didn't do it, like, every day, both times, like... Most of the time, I would just do it at night and then wash my face with hydrogen peroxide in the morning and put tea tree oil on it. One day, I washed my face with the African black soap, right? I did my regular, smuggler, degular routine. Then, my skin, like, like, because every day that I did it, my skin got more raw and raw. So, I'm like, okay, this is the side effects of my skin clearing up. Maybe it's getting worse before it gets better. That's in my head that I was thinking, right? So, one day I did it. One night I did it. And my skin was burning so, so bad. My skin was burning so bad. Like. It, to the point where I wanted to cry my skin was burning so bad and um, that's because after I put the tea tree oil you know the tea tree it or already burns you know and then on top of that the African black soap so I'm like you know maybe this is just it working and I got on camera and I recorded it I'm like oh my god my skin is like really burning like really really bad so I put a whole lot of lotion. When I tell you, I like took a whole lot of lotion, squoze the bottle like that, and I just slapped it on my, lathered it on my face, and I let the lotion dry into my skin because my skin was so tender and it was so freaking raw. And I'm like, okay, like should I continue on with this video? So it kind of discouraged me because I'm like, dang, like I really wanted this to be like a good video. I wanted this to be like a you know, a skincare, a new skincare routine. You know, I want to show my subscribers that you can clear your skin of African black soap. And that's what I'm why I am doing this video today. Um, I thought because, you know, don't take this as an offense or anything, but I'm going to keep it real. I'll keep it real on my channel. Uh, black people and white people's skin are two different. We have two different types of skin. So, me being black, I'm like, you know, us black people need to use 100% um, natural things. Like, natural natural and um i'm not 100 percent black but i am black so i'm like that's gonna work for my skin bro like this gotta work for my skin because you know natural things work better for our skin but you know come to find out everybody's skin is not the same um everybody's skin is doesn't know how to take certain things um my skin was way better before i even started the african black soap i'm just like wow like this is not for me um just because something says 100 percent natural does not mean it's, it's good for your skin everybody has different skin everybody ha will have different experience different side effects side effects everybody has things that they're allergic to so personally 
for me, um, personally for me, skin products that work best for me are products that has like different ingredients in it, not just one ingredient that's so concentrated. So you ask me, how did I get my skin to be, um, to get back to this state? Let me turn the ring light down so I can see like kind of where my skin is at now. Um, I don't have any makeup on. I just have my brows and my lashes on. My skin is not perfect. It's not where I want it to be. But it's getting there. So after the African Black Soap, I took a while from you. I like, I'm like, you know what? After that burning experience, I'm like, I'm done with African Black Soap. Like, I'm not washing my face with this shit no more. I gave my skin a break. So what I did was I still used the hydrogen peroxide to wash my face. Um, that did not harm my skin. The hydrogen peroxide did not harm my skin. It was most definitely the African black soap. So for a couple days, I was washing my face with the hydrogen peroxide. And then I went back to my regimen of what I knew. Okay, you guys. So after, you know, the African black soap, I stopped using it after a while. And then I went to my local um, family dollar and I picked up these products. Local family dollar and CVS. So, um, I'm going to start off with the mask. I mean, the cleanser. This is a cleanser. So, this is the L'Oreal Paris Pure Clay Cleanser. And what it is, let me let it focus. What it focus. So, y'all can see that, right? This is a charcoal cleanser, right? Um, I use it on my face to wash it. And I also use it as a mask. I When I use it as a mask, I also, like, when I take it, I pour hydrogen peroxide on it because the hydrogen peroxide spreads the product and it makes it set up even more because um the elements the hydrogen peroxide whatever blah 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 i'm not saying just blah blah blah, blah whatever y'all get it right it makes it set up even more so when it's set up on my face i leave it on there for like 10 minutes and then um i rinse it off now also use my clean and clear my clean and clear morning burst facial cleanse and you can see i'm already like running out or whatever I love this so much. It has vitamins, vitamin C in it, um, which makes your skin glow. And then it has the the burst bubbles, you know, for exfoliation. And it really does wake me up in the morning. Um, another exfoliating um, cleanser that I also use is called, it's like the apricot. I'm going to put a picture right here this cleanser really really does help it really did really 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 did help with my acne because it exfoliated all the dead skin off and the ingredients that it has in it it really made my skin glow so that really sped up the process of my skincare routine and time to time i use this um free man feeling beautiful cleaning sweet pea plus lemon peel off mask um, I'm thinking it's by the brand Freeman and it has sweet tea and lemon okay so this is a pill off mask it's so pretty is this color so it's like a pink it's like a peach color right can't really tell it's a peach color but it's a peach color and it smells really good it smells kind of it smell it does smell strong um, I was kind of scared of that but it's a pill off mask. It's a gentle pill off mask. If you put a lot of layers on it, it does get more intense. But this mask really did does help my skin to glow. I used this mask last night and it really had my skin radiant this morning. It was glowing. I'm like, wow, I have a natural glow on my skin. So if I were to keep using this consistently, um, I would have a radiant glowy skin every day. I wouldn't use this mask every day. You shouldn't use a pill-off mask every day. I'll probably use it like once out of the week or twice out of the week, depending on how my pores are. But, um, but yeah, like that. These are the products that I've that I used after my skin was fucked up and got it to a it got it to an okay state. You know, this right here, this where I'm at right now. It's not really where I want to be 100%, but there's this one product, y'all. All those products, yes, they worked. They worked over time. It took my skin two months to get back to its like natural state, whatever. Before I started using African Black Soap, 
there's this one product y'all it cleared my skin within two weeks it cleared my skin within two weeks i absolutely love this product i'm not gonna say what the product is in this particular video i will announce it in my next video so make sure you do subscribe and click the post notification bell because this skincare it, it was so simple like after using this i switched over to this next skincare routine um i stopped using those products and then i ordered this particular product and then it's it cleared my skin within two weeks y'all no lie I'm like, I got to get my hands on this. As soon as I get me a, some money, some extra money, I'm going to buy this. And it worked. It's only three products. Y'all probably know what I'm already talking about. But I don't want to talk about it in this video because I don't want to make this video too long. This video was solely about the African black soap. And kind of how I got my skin to revert back to where it was before. Um, and a little bit better than what it was before. But this next product that I will be talking about will be in my next video. I'm most likely going to post it today. Or if I don't post it today, I'm going to post it tomorrow. But I will be filming it today. So make sure y'all subscribe and turn on your press notification bell. Because I really do want to share, share with y'all this product that I use. And it really, really, really did help me out. That's really all. That's really it that I got to talk about for African Black Soap. Everybody has their own experiences. But with me, it was just like... It was just, it just wasn't for me. A hundred percent natural ingredients all the time. Too much of too much of it is not for me. I can't use one hundred percent natural products. It doesn't work for my skin. I thought it would, but it don't. So let me know y'all experiences with African black soap. Like, do y'all like using African black soap? Does it work for you, or did you experience the same experience that I experienced? Like, I don't know. It's crazy, but um, yeah, y'all. Thanks for watching this video. Um, I'm I'm really proud of where my skin has become, um, how my skin is now. I will be talking about that in my next video of what the next product that really took, that really got me to this point. And yeah, y'all, that's really it for this video. I love you so much, Betty Honest. I will see y'all in the next video today or tomorrow. Peace.